Hello sweeties, today I'm going to do some SharePoint mirroring and I'm going to show you how the code because I've just checked the code in so you're going to see how this works. So I have got a SharePoint list and I am mirroring it. Hooray! Everyone's happy. Good. Okay. So here it is and I'll just show you how it works in the config. Obviously I'm going to blur bits out but essentially these are all the um, authentication things. So I've added a a property for true so we can turn this on and off in the config so i've gone big on config all right these are all the um, spn details that we need and then we get onto the sharepoint details so this is the sharepoint scope this is where it logs on and i'm using the graph api for all of this if you want to change that feel free this has been working for me and then we have the actual sharepoint list these are the ones we want to replicate across and then i'm using the list id i'll show you how to get that um, this is something that needs to be on there. How often it's doing it, uh, when it's running, the status. So this one is already running. Um, I can specify a column list so I can define which columns I want to move across. Otherwise, it will choose everything. And then this is the schema and the table name that is going to be called when we get to Fabric. And so I can just show you that running across now. And, and this is what it looks like. So it's now mirroring to SharePoint friends. And we can go and we can see that data in there from that SharePoint list. So there we go. So these are the columns that are in the list. And then these are all the columns that SharePoint adds on for me. And I'm just bringing them across because I'm not filtering them out. So it looks like this. So I can actually use some of this for change data capture. So we can see when it's changed on SharePoint. So let's add a new SharePoint list and then we can go through everything. So I'm going to add it going here. I'm going to go back to my home. I'm going to go to here. I'm going to do add new. We're going to create a list. Now, what kind of list should we create? Let's create a travel request. So it's going to use this template. I could do all sorts of things. Oh, let's call this um, npm travel. Let's add some data in. Trip. I'm just call this demo, and I'm just going to demo in everything. We request a okay. start. We're going to start today. Travel to tomorrow. Airline. Let's pick Alaska. Dollars. Hotel. Let's stay at Hilton. Different amount. It's approved. Yes. So yes. Now let's mirror that across. Now, what I have to do is I'll go into manage access. Now this is because I don't know it very well. If we go into here, click here, choose advanced settings. This gives me the list ID. And now I've got the list ID. I can now go back to my um, log, my um, config. So I'll create another list and I'll go in here. So I just copy this, paste. Now, because this is a new list, now I need to copy that list ID back from here. Put that there. I'm going to keep the interview. I'm going to take that out. So we remove the status. So it's going to start from new. I'm going to remove the column list because we don't need it anymore. And I'm going to call this one travel. Now I'm going to run it. All right, so we can see now that travel has been created here. And we can see the metadata file and some of that data. So let's go and just double check it all looks good. Preview. All right, that looks like the data that we put in. Great. Let's go back to power break. Hit refresh. There we go. SharePoint travel. Let's see if that data has come through. And there's our Alaskan air flight that was five hundred dollars and the hotel that was in Slough. All right, great, there we are. 
that's um, setting up SharePoint mirroring and just showing you how to grab the list ID and put it in. Um, so go and play. Bye-bye. Right. Love you.